Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. My name is Flawless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel and today Today I think we're gonna be taking it to Hooktail here as soon as I figure out What to do next? Yeah, let's <laughs> just figure that out. Uh, I hope you all having a wonderful day today. I was giving very large suggestion To oh, there's the key I was looking for that. I was given a very large suggestion to equip this because A, it's got zero BP. B, it changes your sound effects and that's always cool. But C, in order to defeat Hooktail, we need someone that begins with CR and ends with Ikit. And the key to defeating Hooktail is in the castle. I have no idea what a cricket sounds like, but that might be it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna sound like that for a while. Ah, here we go. I knew there just had to be something here somewhere. However, however, since I did not figure this out on my own, I'm not gonna use it right away. I'm gonna see what happens if you fight Hooktail without the cricket noise and it's gonna end horribly yes it is going to end horribly it just is going to be what happens but at the same time we'll get to see if uh you know any different stories happen because of us failing to solve the riddle of hooktail yeah uh, it's just what we do on this channel we explore different things even if exploring different things means doing something that's incredibly stupid uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just what happens. <laughs> oh boy. Um, where, oh, where is the red, uh, the door? It was, it was up. So it's probably in this other room. And we probably have to go up here. Then we kick our little, little body that way. And then up we go. I'm also going to uh, switch to Gumbella because if we're gonna lure or tile someone, I should say, we need her out. Uh, restore. Uh, send the castle, yeah. Um, do we need this? We are short on flower points. Oh, that looks cool. I, I love the paper stuff in this game. It, it, it looks so great. I mean, it just feels like the world is a canvas, you know? Uh... Oh, there's a star piece out there. How do I get the star piece? Hmm. I need to jump up there or oh 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 go this way Getting closer to that quick change maneuver my friends that's the uh that's the badge I want more than anything That's how we get across Oh 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 that's bad that's bad that's bad Ooh. We can't beat these guys without coops here Ah, darn it. Try to jump on a little friend and accidentally, uh, well, I didn't accidentally do anything. I, I, I didn't do it in time. It's the bottom line. But it doesn't matter. There's only two of them. As long as they don't screw up here. Oh, I like that. See that? Okay, I mean, that was a good thing. Uh, uh, poor life taught me that move. Basically, if you do something right and then hit A, like, immediately after, you do a stylish move. That is so cool! 
I like the little turtle spin there. That was pretty neat. Yeah, so like I said, um, I, I love it when you guys tell me little uh, game mechanic corners. Ooh, there's a mushroom down there. Ah, shoot. Alright, well this doesn't hurt. I like that! That's cool! That may be my new favorite thing. Got a flower, got some coins, and did that horribly. Do I need the mushroom? How do I get the mushroom? Maybe this way? Ah. There we go. It's just, it's just a matter of getting it, that's all. I mean, I know we don't need the mushroom, but the fact that I want to get the mushroom just to say that I got the mushroom, it's like, it's like why I did it. All right, we got another locked door that way. That's interesting. This is Hooktail Castle. There's an upward moving draft to this room too. Of course, tons of bones lying around too. This place needs a decorative stat. <laughs> you never know which bones are gonna attack, so be careful where you walk, okay? Oh, and if you wanna buy that green block, remember, Coops is the man. Yeah, Coops is pretty awesome. Okay. Huh, oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Who, who are you? Me? Why, well, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe trotting thief. You heard of me, sweetie? Heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in a rundown place? I'll tell you why, Miss Ugly Pink Shoe, whatever thief. We're here to be Hooktail. <laughs> And just so we're clear on this, we got our sights set on the crystal star before you, okay? Crystal star, you say? Mm hmm, hmm. I didn't know a thing like that was in, in the castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Shoot. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this crystal star first. And I already found the badge I was looking after, so I'll let you get your crystal star. I like how her tail is a heart. That's really awesome. Let us, let us, what's that supposed to mean? Aw, <laughs> it means I'm gonna say bye-bye for now, Miss Cutie. I know, it's sad, we just met, and it's already time to say farewell, alas. Hey, you, you little flirt. Who do you think you are, kissing Mario? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hook tail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe find it already, maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. What is with that girl? What a flirt. Who acts so disgusting like that? All right, so I think at that point, I could say what I probably would have realized I need to equip the badge. Right? A shine sprite. I mean, I would have said, okay, there's only one badge that we could have equipped. This is Hooktail's treasure room. Miss Mouse is looking for something here, but I don't think there's anything left. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself the benefit of the doubt here and say I would have been smart enough to realize there's only one badge we have to use. And that's the only badge we found in here, which is the attack FXR. If I didn't get that clue, though, I, I would have risked it. Because I want to have known. Ah, uh, we got this stylish. Actually, I actually hit B there instead of A, seeing if it would do something different. How do I do stylish on a jump? Oh, okay, you have to do it immediately after. 
I like the belly pop there. That was really cool. Now, we got to level up before we get into uh, Hooktail. I don't think we are. I think this is Hooktail. Or not. This is Hooktail Castle. The door up on that platform to the, heart is, to the right is hard to reach. I wonder if the switch on the floor might go to the block that could get us up there. Looks like a job for Coops. All right, Coops. All right, this was kind of annoying because I can't get to the uh I can't get to the uh the guy in the back until I take out this guy oh that was cool we automatically got the one HP back It's so cool. It's one of those things in the game that really doesn't. I mean, it does make a difference to get more star points, but it's just one of those things that look really cool. Hey, we struck first somehow. I have no idea how, but we did. Oh, we struck first with a jump attack. That's interesting. Darn it. Darn it. Uh, I did this out of order. Yeah, I did this out of order. And because we don't have the quick change badge, I can't change quickly to do this the right way. Darn it, I keep trying to do the B. That's really hard to do. I do want to thank you all for your uh, love and support on the uh, series so far. Really means a lot to me. As we try to level up our channel to let it grow. And I need all of y'all support in order to make that happen. All right, I'm not hesitating on this one. I'm going straight for the, for the BP here. And uh, badges. Uh, I'm gonna go with the multi mounts at close call. I don't need the extra HP and all that. I think close call could help out with that. Shoot! Didn't even see that guy. <laughs> Bucket falls on him and he's like, I don't care. Alright, um. Do I wanna use flower points here? I mean, it'll save me some damage. Yeah, I mean, it saves me some damage here. I tried this simple A button on that one and totally missed. easy to get experience in this game too. I remember uh, playing the other game how quickly our we were going down to like zero EXP. Although I just said that no matter what you do in this game every single fight gives you at least one EXP which is really really nice to know. There's nothing more annoying than to fight a fight where you get absolutely not nothing. Like uh, Grandia. I remember grinding up one of my most hated dungeons of all time, the uh, Soldier's Graveyard. And the reason I hate the Soldier's Graveyard so much is because the enemies there basically gave you nothing. Seriously, they didn't give you anything good. They didn't give you uh, experience. They didn't give you skill points. They didn't give you anything. They, they really sucked horribly. 
Okay, is this a quick way back? No! Oh. Oh! Then what's... Ah, oh, there's something else up there. Darn it, I'm gonna have to do this over again. There is something up there. I don't know what it is, but I know there is something. It's a star point. Or star piece. How do I get that star piece? Oh, I gotta go all the way around. Okay. I understand. I gotta go up this way. And then I gotta go up this way without falling off. And I gotta go all the way to the right. Man, I wish I could lose the weight this easily. <laughs> I think that's enough star pieces now to get quick change as well. And I'm definitely, definitely, definitely want to get that as soon as possible. That way I can easily shift between uh, my two characters at ease. change up here okay do I go down that way this is hotel castle you feel that draft upward moving draft in here wow sure is a big castle what do you think build it so many questions yeah this is a really big castle can I go all the way up like this no, I can't do that. Oh, hello. Uh, shine sprite. But well, you know, before we go here, we should probably check out that other area first. It may just be a shortcut down. But I do want to double check. Oh, hello. Drop the damage your ally takes by one half when in danger. Hmm. Uh, I should've used coops. Yeah, I should've used coops. I, I could've, uh, I could've avoided a backtrack. Well, we at least get a save now. Well, let's look at the badge here. Uh, it's only one, so we can equip it. And then we'll... We're gonna have to change back to Coops in order to get back up there now. Yeah, if I would've done this right, I wouldn't need a backtrack but I didn't think about it I thought if we jumped down it would have plummeted us all the way back to the very um I thought it would have changed the uh, screen is my I mean to say but we just fell straight through and we we're still on the same screen should it take us too long to get back up there though I imagine Oh, I need to check something. Yes, this is really stupid. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> I just passed off my head. <laughs> I, I thought what would happen is like, you know how the chain chomps like bit you when he got in the water? I thought it would have like crushed you and would have flattened like a uh, paper. And it would have taken like one damage in a really comical way. But no, it just like bounces right off you. Wrong way. Hey, Coops. What happened, buddy? Try it again. There we go. <laughs> I just love seeing them run when they're papers. It looks really, really cool. 
Hop on, Goops. We are flying. I know it's not like having a tail, but it works. Let's get a Gumbella in a party. Yes, I know you're not Gumbaria. I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh. Hey! What are you doing? I thought you were supposed to throw stuff at me. Ah. Darn it. Darn it again. There we go. One of three is that bad. I mean, that'll put me in the Hall of Fame if I play baseball, right? I like that jump back. That's cool. Can't seem to do her stylish, though. Maybe it's because the enemy is in the air. Yeah, 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 I know. I messed that one up. So I can't seem to do her stylish. Now I can't seem to do his stylish. All right, so we're not doing our best now. I will admit, we, we, we are dropping on HP levels here. How did he strike first? I jumped up and met him at the point. That is a lot of flying enemies. Uh-oh. He's got the power block. What? Wait, what? Oh, that's not fair. I can't do that much damage. Uh, and apparently I, I, I suddenly... There we go. I don't know if I can hit this guy in the front. Why can't I do the stylish all of a sudden? All right, well, I can't hurt him, but I can knock him on his back. That's good. There we go. Uh, let's take out the one in the back. Alright, this fight got out of hand. But, um, I think I've saved it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Woo! Well, at least Mario is fully charged now. I mean, Gamaria's not looking too great, but we got power block. Ooh. Um. Oh, this live stream isn't a mushroom. This is a uh, one-up mushroom. That's really good. I I'm gonna go ahead and drop. Too many things happen at once. Mario, take a look at this. It's like you reach out to the sky, huh? Looking out from heights makes my head go Gumby. I mean, I mean, Goony. <laughs> All right, what I want to do is I want to use a mushroom on Gabella. And then pick up that mushroom and get that coin before it disappears. And now we're, uh... Basically fully ready for this fight This is really cool how the whole thing is turning I mean, I know I've upscaled a lot but the technical 
looks of this game is amazing. Ooh. It's kind of a nasty fight here. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was great. I love that. Still can't do her stylish. Yes! Zero damage. Well, that wasn't good. Ah, I was trying to kill him with the, uh, with the on time button. All right, let's see if I can do it. Go for the kill. Ah, I missed. Man, I've lost a lot of HP in this fight. That was not cool. I thought it was all ready for Hooktail. And now, now I'm not so sure. Yeah, now I'm not so sure. Mario, take a look at this. It's like you'll be chatting to the sky, huh? Looking out for the heights fixed by Heiko Gumbi. I mean, Gunny. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the same way. I'm acrophobic. Hey, what do you know? We got, uh, I use that though. Yes, I know. I'm a bit of a cheapskate. I, I like, I like to save my coins, but. In this case, is there something back here? No, okay. All right, we ready for this, my friends? Who dares approach me? That's a big dragon. That's a really big dragon. I like how he's, held, I like how he's paperish, 3D way. That's really cool. Hmm, so you are friends of the strange guard one who came earlier. I didn't expect war to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. You really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with my, some spices. What all I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Bring it on! Jeez, that thing's huge. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? All right, so we need to use the uh, the hammer because it's got the uh, sound effect, right? Black, that awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Er, I, I got really bad. Er, er, poisoning. What's what I ate the cricket? I ate them. Oh, fighting. Okay, just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. All right, now we should be able to tattle on him. Only one target, by the way. That is Silas too, because she laughed. Ah, <laughs> that was cool. Hooktail. That's Hooktail. His max HP is 20, attack is 5, defense is 1. It'll stop it much on you and has some more dragonish attack, sticky fire breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and I'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I hate things that start with CR and with Ikit. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? We sure did. Ooh, I actually blocked that. Well, that was pretty awesome. Oh, I must not kick my... Poor tummy. Urgh, so very woozy. <laughs> Oops. Ah, got a pipe job done. Come on, come on, come on. How do you do this? It goes so fast. Hey, I got it. FP is full. Today, 
Did you see those blocks? I can't believe them. But you know, the one that gets the killing blow can't be, can't be us. It's gotta be Koops. Koops is the only one who can get the uh, the killing blow on Hooktail, or the, the winning blow on Hooktail. Woo! Go get him, Koops. A little swag. Wait, hold on a minute. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Or, uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? He's, he's, he, we're, we're told not to trust him. We're told not to trust him. But now I want to know what happens if you do. I'm sorry, it's, my curiosity is killing me here. A thousand coins, sure. Delicious. I knew you would. Money makes the world turn. Now come get your coins. It's gonna be fire on me. I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was suspecting. Maybe I was expecting like a fireball. I wasn't expecting him to actually, like, try to eat me. That was great. Oh, you were completely duped by my genius ruse. H how cowardly. You senseless yokels. Nothing in life is that easy. Your gold bit did you in. Er, this isn't looking so good. I guess I better. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I I'll be over here. Uh, I'll be back in a few. What the heck? It just, it just. It just ate the crowd! Oh, that's just not right. Oh, ah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Uh, let's face this guy off, Mario. I ate the... Now I'm fighting in the crowd! Oh, this is great! This is amazing! Oh, this is so good right now. I I'm loving this. I, I need some hit points. Desperately. Don't hit the green one. All right, yeah, we've gotten. Ah, but that's all right. We we got, we got six, six, and seven. That is a really good roll there. Basically maxes his well it doesn't max his out, but it's good. Ooh, look at those dodges! Man, I'm a I'm in fuego! Like literally, because he's blasting with fire, but you know, I, I'm doing pretty well here. Blur! I always had to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket. <laughs> ah, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, defend here. Cause like I said, I need our little guy here to win the fight. So. And there we go. Oh, I didn't finish it with the swagger, but still. Oh, that was good. That was really, really good. Yeah, that was a great fight. But, but I, I, I... Gurk. How? Why? There's still so much I want to do with my life. So many meals. Dirty star points. That was, like I said, that was, that was a great fight. Um, that worked really, really well. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. 
But now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Oh. Oh. He ate it. No, he didn't eat it. Oh, look! It's Papa Coops! Or Coops Papa! How will you phrase it? Yeah, I'm out! Find me out! Whoa! Hey, kid B! You know it's gotta be Coops' dad. Eh? D dad? Yep, called it. Hey, you're, you're Coops! Hey, son! You gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and well, all was well and good. But just before my fish should blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down hole. Yeah, I mean, who would be dumb enough to fall for a trick like that? <laughs> I've been hiding myself for like 10 years since then. Inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. Ha 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 ha. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? After 10 years long years, we thought you, you know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, I mean, yeah? Hey, speaking of which, uh, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wrecking havoc in town. And, uh, Mr. Mario was looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Uh, Crystal Star? Ah, this wouldn't be what you're looking for, what you're talking about, would it? Hey! Uh, what's that? Well, I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? Kept it as a souvenir. I knew it! He ate it! So, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Ah, come now. And what take no fun answer. You're Coops' friend. Please take it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a crystal star. Woohoo! One down, six to go. And he learned a special move, Earth Tremor. End of chapter. So nice now that I don't have to mess with the uh, screen resolution every single time the chapter ends. You guys didn't know that, but behind the scenes there was a lot of editing that made the original Paper Mario to look as good as it did. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Coops even reunited with his long lost father whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Absolutely. That's a lot of Mario's. It's a me, it's a Mario's. What the heck? Oh, it's that big boss guy that we fought at the beginning of the game. Oh, great exalted Grotus. We bought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Is it about time you told us where the map is? Wow, look at this guy. Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. All the dots. Gorda, sir, I have news. I'm, I'm gonna give this guy a mechanical voice because he's got like a machine for a brain. Report it at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? 
Someone else is after the crystal stars. And he defeated that hooktail creature, you say. Speak, soldier. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, uh, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me. What is a Mario? Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha. I see. So you do know of this Mario, do you? Hmm? This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him all before. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. You know what that scene reminds me of? It reminds me of the original Die Hard. Where John McClane, you know, the bad guy I didn't know about his wife until they did. And then once they did, like, bad things, you know, happened. I go bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take her care of Princess Peach. Understood. She is not to be harmed. Ah, uh, you got it, sir. I like the little salute, by the way. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the boggly woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Uh, was that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Gordas. And with that, pow! I'm gone. Huh. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. Excellent, I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? I mean, you rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, sir? <laughs> you know what I need? I need a mod that replaces every dude this guy says with D-O-O-D -O -O -D and turns his color scheme into that of a printy. <laughs> Shut up. Go get the Shadow Simons over here. Are the Shadow Sirens, dude? I mean, sir, but they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, you fool. Go get them now. I gotcha. Like, seriously, and every single sentence he ends with has to be with dude. <laughs> the Honorable Gordas has need of us. Oh, sorry, that's someone else. They're off screen. The Honorable Gordas has need of us, so we arrive without delay. It's the three mega sisters from Final Fantasy. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on. Don't tell me that doesn't look like the mega sisters. I mean, that so looks like them. To the T. That looks exact. Okay. Not exactly like them. Um, and the mega sisters, the middle sister is a bit thicker, and the taller sister is thinner. But besides that, that looks like the MAGA sisters. And by the way, she's wearing a Dr. Seuss hat. Wee! Pray tell! Did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldum. We would have already had it if you snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many pine eyes there. Too many. Besides, strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes! Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x Not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. Your shadow sirens must take care of this little troublemaker. If you're not, sire, I, Beldum, shall return with what you see. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn and Vivian, come. We've got a job to do here.
wonder what's with the like the television here it's kind of a cool aesthetic though oh dear here we go again i can't believe i'm kidnapped again mario and toadsworth must be worried sick again but hang on a moment where in the world am i anyway it's so unfamiliar I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. We need Twink. Oh! We're actually playing as Princess. Without all the, um, uh, the weird, uh, uh, glitching with our sprites since we don't have that yellow overlay. You know, that's one of the things I loved about Super Mario RPG. The Princess wasn't a captive, you know? Well, I mean... She started out that way, but then she became a, uh, you know, she became a fighter. And, uh, one of the best, like, what, healers in the game? What a lovely shower. No sculpts on ever, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. She's gonna walk around with the towel like uh, the Hayden Patentary character Sam from uh, Until Dawn. How refreshing! I feel like a new princess. Kinda look like one. Did your sprite just change? Like seriously, did her sprite change? Ah, oh, it's back to normal now. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how odd. Oh, that's her, sorry. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Looks like one in a spaceship. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced we're in a spaceship. It doesn't work. So we got aliens in this game. How do I keep making those doors open? How odd. Look at this place. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh, what? Who said that? Where are you? Oh, I don't think this is the evil guy. How amusing. I'm right here before your eyes. I am the Slavatory's big computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Crotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Crotus. Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Crotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse spread through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Calls unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you? No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because it's just too weird. <laughs> please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? 
Love tells you what you want to be with the when you want to be with the person forever. Wow, this sounds a lot like Ever 17 now, doesn't it? It makes you feel happy to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Teaching a computer about love. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? Love's not something you comprehend, Jack. You feel it. All the dots. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing that you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You axe jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh. Why should I believe you? Wow, that's fiery, Peach. I like it. I understand that you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anyone you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipe address and message. You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Can you send it? This looks like AOL mail. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Well, we don't have Twink, but we may have a um, computer help us out. That's a lot of peaches. Really cool transition. Ah, Bowser's getting involved now. I was wondering when this guy would come in. Hope he can be our ally this time. Still looks the same, too. <laughs> Bowser the Mighty Career King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! But now that I'm here, Kimmy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Oh, Kimmy's back. Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kimmy Kabo will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Oh my god, what Bowser? And we can breathe fire? Oh, this is so cool! Please, your ghastliness. I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Greetings, your huffiness. The hag Kami Kubo will be arriving any moment. And I just gave the witch's Kami's voice. What am I going to do now? So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing lovingly at the photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork on it. I mean, man. Ha! I tell you. The look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Yak! Yeah! Lord Bowser! <laughs> well, I'm... Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your delicious hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I I'm not funny, sir. <laughs> He's not funny, sir. <laughs> Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. 
Should the time come, I will be ready. Order me as you please, your silliness. Ah, super. In that case, I need to do some sit-ups, Tubby. Aw, oh, I didn't say anything new. This mini fire fire is so cool. Hail Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Already out of breath. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kimmy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, Sir Compinus. Please don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my the pleasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Vogueport. <sighs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord. Apparently, Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. The, the treasure? Yes. Mario has gone out and search for star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. Hey, the Crystal Stars, you say? It's not like good world concrete tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this with me, Brainy Hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. Oh, by the way, Lord Bowser, you like fried eggs? Blurg, I hate them! Gag, ugh, I'm gonna sue it just now. Can't say it fight eggs. But why do you ask? Uh, well, during my Mario Recon, I stepped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic and some eggs and toast. Uh, of course, I wanna think of sending my invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? Come on! There's no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always do it. Cause you clouds always goof off. Erg! No. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm, what's that? Mumble, mumble, mumble. What? Is this true? Oh, Lord Bowser, terrible news. A bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. That'd be great. What if he joins our team to save Princess Peach because he wants Princess Peach? So the friend of our enemy becomes, oh wait, the enemy of our friend becomes our, the, the enemy, the friend of our enemy becomes our, I, I don't know. Buzzbird can't think right now. Someone correct me in the comment section below. <laughs> Sorry, when I got a bird brain, sometimes it doesn't always work right. Uh, what? Tell me a lie, Kimmy. How, when, where? Who did such a thing besides me? I'm afraid I don't have the information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. Princess have been kidnapped! And in no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say so! I will not stay for this! I'm going to vote for it! No! I am going to kidnap her back! Ah. Wouldn't it be funny if you like blind her? Ah, I love the little thing! Why are you always putting holes in castles? But your grunginess, wait up! See, I was kind of hoping in this game though that um, Kami Koopa would be like the true villain and like betray Bowser, and then Bowser would join us to fight against Kami. But this kind of works too. Is I mean, the idea was you had like 
Yeah, Bowser wasn't the main villain. That, that was the whole idea. And in this way, Bowser's not the main villain. Well, at least not yet. Coops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I am, well, going to come back as strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nice to said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem, may I just add? If anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewell. So, uh, where are we going? Let's head back to Vokeport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it did stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star, we fall back to the thousand year door. So, uh, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magic map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. I thought that's what would happen. And besides, I need to go back to Oakport to get the badge. No matter where it is, go, son. Just, just know that your old Cooper is rooting for you. I need to, uh, do some, uh, titling here. That's Koopa Stats. Koopley. Seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopa space cadets? <laughs> then again, Koops is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad's like this. Anyway, Koopley does worry about Koops a lot, so I guess he's a good dad after all. Take care of Koops, please. That's Koopy Koo, a local puddle burger. She seems to be Koops' girlfriend. Gosh, she's really cute. Seems to have a good head on her, too. Thing is, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. I guess it's a complicated relationship, but then again, what relationship isn't? Oh, Murphy, I was sure that you could get that crystal star. All right, so yeah, we've already seen that. All right, my friends, well, my name is Les Bird. This is your story-based gaming channel, and this is our blind Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. It's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. This is a great, great game so far. It's very comedical. Also has moments of, like, darkness in it, too. But always tries to keep things, like, upbeat, which is nice. It's got an interesting premise as well. I'm looking forward to see where this uh, new villain goes and where Bowser goes as well. I'm, I'm really hoping Bowser can become a party member. Uh, I think that would be a nice change for the Paper Mario series. I know Bowser was a party member in Super Mario RPG, but I would really like to see it again here as well because it would be really interesting how Bowser is a party member. Although then again, probably not in this game because in this game, you know, the party members seem to all do like a secondary focus. But then again, Bowser could use his fire breath to like melt things or stuff, so maybe that would work. But anyway, love you all so very much. Thank you for everything, and until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.